at Davies Symphony Hall in San Francisco. Violin virtuoso Itzhak Perlman performed the love theme from Cinema Paradiso. Each stroke a testament to the power of music. The event captured by KPIX. Take note, from glamorous galas to funky little clubs, from big celebrities to rising stars, for the past 70 years, KPIX5 has brought the music into your home. And we know all the moves. If he can't fail. The twist. <laughs> the hippie freestyle. And of course, disco fever. We pretzel, hip hopped, tangoed, and dipped our way through the decades. Early on, famed jazz guitarist Nick Esposito performed on the Del Courtney Variety Show, broadcast live from our studios. And even the prom seemed to be swaying. The legendary Ella Fitzgerald belted out Cole Porter's Begin the Begin. Smiling on candid camera. Entertaining patients and troops alike at the Letterman Army Hospital in the Presidio. And in 1968, the Berkeley Folk Music Festival unfolded on Sprawl Plaza, some cool cats, and a confused reporter. What kind of music is this? What kind of music is this, Tony? That's strange. That's strange, strange music. This is Country Joe and the Fish, who along with Sons of Chaplin are giving a rock concert today in the back of a flatbed truck. Now, a rock concert on a sunny Saturday afternoon is not that hard to find in the Bay Area, but this is a bit unique. Well, this flatbed truck is sitting inside the walls at San Quentin Prison. From a concert held in front of a captive audience to Chris Isaac crooning on stage before Super Bowl 50, over the years, KPIX has enjoyed an all-access pass. In 1989, one of the world's greatest guitarists, Carlos Santana, invited us to a rehearsal in San Francisco. Rock's Renaissance man Todd Rudgren welcomed Channel 5 into his home in Sausalito. He showed off a new composition penned for a Broadway show. Been invigorating. It's been enlightening being involved in this particular project, and uh, as a writer, it affords me a, a new audience. Then there was the Grateful Dead's Jerry Garcia in Marin County. You were there. He agreed to do an interview with anchor Kate Kelly. I asked him how he wanted to be remembered. <laughs> Jeez, I don't know. I, I've never thought about it in those terms. I think I would like to be known as a guy who had a pretty good time while he was here. You never know. You could go at any moment, you know, so you might as well just try to crowd as much as you can possibly get into your life. KPIX captured Madonna at the Civic Center. This story that I was told the train at Bimbo's. Green Day backstage. People that say that, that music and politics isn't supposed to collide, I think they're wrong. I think that rock and roll has always been some sort of social political statement. And globetrotting Kent Nagano home again. When I come to San Francisco, no matter if it's just for a few weeks or a few months out of the year, it's that one moment for me when I feel I can just breathe. In 1972, the high priestess of soul, one and only Nina Simone in Berkeley. She was surprised when the mayor read a proclamation in her honor. The location, the black cultural center known as the Rainbow Sign. Simone was a civil rights activist. In 1987, in two sold-out shows in the Bay Area, U2 hit the stage at the Cow Palace. The Irish band had just released their fifth studio album. It was called The Joshua Tree. Ending up as one of the world's best-selling albums. Then we had a dose of the Rolling Stones. Mick Jagger on a cable car with then Mayor Diane Feinstein. How do you feel about San Francisco? Well, I think it's a wonderful place, wonderful city. Later that day, at this restaurant, I walked up to the table where he was eating, and I had my microphone out. It says KFRC on it, and I said, "Mr. Jagger," and he looked up and he said, "Oh no, get out of here! Get out of here! 
turn that thing off. And at, at that point, it took my glasses off. Future KPIX reporter Mike Sugarman was working for KFRC Radio. Go. Can I have glasses? I promise. If you go, you can. Okay, I promise. No, I'll break them. Don't break them. I'm a nice guy. Go. I'm a nice guy. I'll do my job. You know what I mean? I'll do your job somewhere else. Jagger broke his glasses. The Beatles are just minutes away from the Bay Area tonight. Which one of the Beatles is your favorite? George! In the 60s, the Beatles were big news. In 1970, the band split up. A few years later, we interviewed Paul McCartney at the Cow Palace touring with Wings. Uh, and I wonder what your response is to what's left over of a sort of Beatlemania. Well, I don't really think about it myself, you know. Um, you know, you, you hear the odd person kind of says, where's John? In 1973, KPIX interviewed the Supremes on a rooftop garden in San Francisco. Mary Wilson, Jean Terrell, and Linda Lawrence showed off their gowns. Clothes seem to play an important part in what the Supremes do. Is that really true? Well, of course, we uh, have always been known to wear very high fashion gowns, should I say. <laughs> The KPIX playlist is endless. Chances are you believe the sky. The Velvet Voice the sky of Johnny Mathis. In my eyes. It's wonderful. The distinctive blues from Charlie Musselwhite. Even when I was a little kid, I remember when I would hear blues, I would think to myself, man. The way that music sounds, that's how I feel. And of course, heavy metal from Metallica. This is way cooler. This is way better. We get to play a full show in front of our home crowd. How you guys feeling tonight? As for the rising new stars, K Flay at the Fillmore. I called my buddy yet and out. I felt an oven and fell out. I wanna be, I wanna be. Kehlani at the Fox Theater. Come on! And Fantastic Negrito at the New Parish. He demonstrated why he won that Grammy. Take a chance on me. KPIX also made our own music when reporter Mike Hegedus it isn't easy to impress you. dived into the music biz. KPIX TV reporter Mike Hegedus put together a four part story on the making of a record for his San Francisco audience. Now, while doing the story, he actually made his own record and his own video. Just another man on the street. Man on the Street ended up on MTV as well as on an Entertainment Tonight report. Mike kept his day job. And I couldn't carry a note from, from me to you. Finally, all those years ago, we captured the Vince Guaraldi trio rehearsing with the San Francisco Boys Chorus. They were getting ready to record an album. And this group here is fabulous. It's uh, well-trained, uh, uh, professional. The Boys Chorus was founded 70 years ago. Now, a special gift. A holiday song in honor of our shared 70th anniversaries. It meant we could sing our joy of our 70 years and celebrate along with KPIX. We hope you enjoy. In San Francisco, Elizabeth Cook, KPIX 5.